My name is Isaiah McDuffie, and I graduated from Second Baptist in 2011. I'm currently a member of the Second Baptist Alumni Relations Group, and I'm also a substitute teacher here. I've had the opportunity to impact hundreds of lives of kids, and it's all because of what was done for me at Second Baptist. I was born in Washington, D.C. Being the son of a coach, I knew that I wanted to play football. Texas high school football is the pinnacle of football. We moved to Texas and we moved to Pearland. I had really good grades, but I became pretty discouraged about being on the B team. So we began looking at other schools. After school, my dad picks me up from Pearland and he said, I found some place. So about 45 minutes to an hour into the trip, he wakes me up from my nap and he says, all right, we're here. So I lean up from my seat and I look and I see this giant building with a big steeple on it. My eyes just got huge. This was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Coach Need came and introduced himself to me. I told him my situation at Parallel. He said, well, Isaiah, I don't make a lot of promises, but I promise you this one, best man plays. And that's all I ever wanted to hear. That moment I said, you know what? I want to be an Eagle. I was failing test after test until I finally became ineligible for football, which is rather embarrassing considering I was here to play football close to the end of the second semester. And I had one test that I had to pass and I was going to all the tutoring sessions I could go to. A couple days later, I got the results back and I got a 67. And I went down to the locker room and I called my mom and I just cried. I had never felt more low than that in my life. And then I found out that there was still hope I was going to have to ace a final. I went to Coach Lane, went to Miss Morris. They would come in early, they would stay late. It became a community effort to get this kid from Pearland to pass. I had people that stepped outside of their job description to help me out. The day of the test, instead of praying that I would pass, I said, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I gave it all to God. I had given the school everything that I had. The blessing was that this school gave me everything that it had. Picked up my pencil, and all of a sudden it just felt like my hands were floating as I wrote down all the answers. I came in to see my teacher the next day. She said, Isaiah, you did it. You got a 97. And I just cried. <laughs> it was then that I knew that I was supposed to be here. I learned a lot about God while I was a Second Baptist how the doors were made available for me to walk in, and how he brought me through that first year. I ended up graduating from Second Baptist. I chopped my way through school, but I knew deep down inside that I wanted to work with kids, that I wanted to have the same influence on the lives of other people as those people at Second Baptist did for me. So one day, I said, you know what, Lord? I'm gonna take a step on faith. I'm gonna apply for Harris County, Galveston County, and Brazoria County juvenile detention centers. The very next day, the facility administrator for Harris County Youth Village came to my juvenile delinquency class. She gave me her card, I took a, took a tour. I've been there ever since. My whole goal has been to instill the love, the motivation, the encouragement, the life lessons in the lives of these kids that were instilled to me. It's been one of the biggest draws for me to come back to Second Baptist is understanding that I was a part of something special. I knew what I had when I was here. It's also why I came back. I'm here now as a substitute because I know that this is a special place with a lot of tradition. It's a place with a lot of love. If it wasn't for Second Baptist, I wouldn't be who I am or where I am. The fact that my life has come full circle, that I'm back at Second Baptist, the place that made me is home. We always have a tendency to come back home. I would like to invite you guys to the 75th anniversary of Second Baptist. We're having a celebration on April 22nd. And we would love to get together and just celebrate everything that this school is about and everything that it represents. One family, one body, Second Baptist. <laughs>